Have you ever wondered what a scan of your brain would look like? I have. I recently had the opportunity to go and get a brain scan, which was intriguing for me because of my early experience with depression. You see, I dealt with depression growing up, but I don't feel like it's something I deal with anymore. To get the brain scan, I visited Dr. Daniel Amen, a world-renowned psychiatrist and brain specialist. While there are critics of the efficacy of Dr. Amen's imaging technology, I was still curious to see what would show up in my brain scan. Here's what happened. The scan itself felt like an MRI. I laid there for about 10 minutes and was told not to move my body. When we were reviewing the images afterward, he asked if I had ever had a head injury. I said no, but then realized I actually did have a concussion when I was 10. Does that count? Indeed it does. Mild traumatic brain injury is a major cause of depression. He also noticed some other unique attributes of my brain. You actually have a beautiful cerebral. Oh, lovely. And that my emotional brain was a bit fired up, which put me at a higher risk for depression, but he wasn't too concerned about that. What he was concerned about were these areas of low activity in my brain, which looked a bit like holes. He said that if I care about my brain health, there are a couple of things I should do and stop doing immediately. Some of Dr. Amen's recommendations felt like they'd be hard for me, like how he said I should only be having one to two glasses of wine a week. But he did have other tips for improved brain health that felt more practical for my lifestyle. I could take a daily multivitamin, which I'd already been doing at the insistence of my boyfriend every night after dinner. I can also make sure my brain is always learning. I can keep putting healthy food into my body. Even flossing is shown to have a positive effect on brain health. Would I recommend a brain scan for everyone? Probably not necessary. But the whole experience did get me thinking about my brain health and all the steps I can take to maintain it.